Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, The Summer of the Massacre from 2006. It's the 37th film in the 50 Decrepit Crypt of Nightmares collection, is directed by Bryn Hammond and stars Jeanette James and Chris Jarrett. Every once in a while, a movie comes along that has absolutely no redeemable content. Well, mostly true. When you're watching the 50 Decrepit Crypt of Nightmares collection, they come across a lot more than once in a while, but The Summer of the Massacre is the latest shit show off the collection that has earned my ire. Let's explore that, shall we? But first, since I couldn't find any photos from this movie, here are some Russell Crowe movies. Enjoy. Also, if you've ever wanted to see all of Russell Crowe, watch Hammers Over the Anvil. Do with that information what you will. The Summer of the Massacre starts with a very long text crawl, very much in the spirit of the text crawl at the beginning of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. In fact, I would venture to guess that practically everything about the Summer of the Massacre is inspired by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But it goes beyond inspiration because it actually plays like a poor imitation of it. From copying the wording of the text crawl to having a masked tool-wielding killer that wants to be Leatherface but is called Hammerhead and he uses, you guessed it, a hammer. Well, more of a mallet, really. Anyway, back to the opening text crawl. It's too damn fast as I had to pause it to read the substantial amount of text in the crawl. And of course the whole movie is supposedly based on true events, just like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre claimed. I guess the worst part of this movie is that a good 65% of it is Hammerhead chasing after the victim, catching said victim, the victim breaking away at the last minute, and then a few minutes later repeating this cycle, like the first two victims. He dispatches the guy quickly enough, but the girl goes through this cycle I just described for way too long. There's even a point where Hammerhead trips and falls on the ground and I'm all, no, that's supposed to happen to the victim you're chasing, but apparently the makers of this movie have never studied the genre of film they were making. Making. But if you think the opening is bad, the final girl goes on this cycle for a good 20 minutes of screen time at the end of the movie, which is way too fucking long for that shit to occur over and over again. And all the screaming in this movie, I know it's a horror movie and screams are part of the package, but there was way too much of it as well. Too little dying and too much screaming. For this and many other reasons, I'm giving The Summer of the Massacre an F- and tomorrow, breathe a sigh of relief as I get to watch the Brendan Fraser starring Faustian comedy that is a remake of an old Dudley Moore film, Bedazzled. See y'all then.